Come with me and explore our rolling sun-kissed mountains, fantastic wineries, booming economy, and all seasons playground. Welcome to Lake Country. I'm Carson and um, I like gardening and hiking and being active. My name's Jeff. I love the outdoors. I love being on the lake and I love playing with all our toys and hanging out with the bros here. My name is Kieran and I like football and sports and especially I like playing with my dogs. We moved to Lake Country in 2001 and we wanted to stay in this area because the views are incredible, the access to lake is so close and we love being on there. We want space, we're looking for lake view, we need room for the toys and for these guys to run around. And you know, when it comes time to decide on getting a realtor, we didn't have to look too far. My wife, Petrina, is an award-winning Royal LePage realtor, so she's gonna help get us sorted out in our hunt for a home. My buyers are always special to me, but today they're extra special because they're my family. We're looking for waterfront because we basically spend our entire summer on the water. Our dogs come on the boat with us and we love to just scoot out. We wakeboard and kneeboard and we have a jet ski. We're on the lake pretty much every day for six hours a day, probably, or more. Mm -hmm. And then all weekend. We're out every weekend from eight in the morning. We spend the whole day out and reluctantly have to come back. <laughs> a couple of years ago when we were looking at waterfront properties, we were having a lot of trouble with space because my husband has a ton of stuff. Yeah, the, the toy list keeps growing. Right now, the latest edition is the Hummer H1, and that's the workhorse. It hauls the boat, the jet ski. We got a couple of trailers, quad, motorbike, plus all the toys when we load up our hoverboards and everything, that, that, that'll go where we need it to go. So we need a place to store all this. Waterfront properties generally have less space because it's more expensive, so the lots are smaller. I would really like space for a, a basketball hoop so I can shoot some hoops. I need a theater, right? Yep. Boys, we need, yep. a, we need a home theater. A beach and a dock would be great, right? We need place to put all the gear. I have to admit, our house is a little bit of a zoo. We love animals. I love music. We have a recording studio set up down there, so I play guitar, bass, drums, some vocals, although you guys don't like to hear me screeching too much, but yeah, we're really into music. And these guys play with me too. We get the band going. Even though I live with three boys, I managed to splash my pink all around the house. And in fact, I've managed to change up their wardrobe a little because you know what? I think real men wear pink. I think she's the leader of the house. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think so, yeah. Well, because everything has to pass through her for final approval. Oh, yeah. We got, we got the ideas. We just need approval is the issue. But she, she's our princess, right? Yeah. My husband's really busy with his work. And of course, I'm busy with real estate. So when we are at home, we really like to enjoy our time together. So that's why it's really important that the space that we have is for all of us. Our price range for our next house would be up to four million. We have to spend, so I'm hoping for that much we can get what we need and want. Welcome back to beautiful Lake Country, just north of Kelowna, where we're doing things a little differently. Realtor Petrina Colton is helping her own family search for their dream home. Although Lakefront is on their wish list, the first house on their search isn't on the water. They've toured this 5,000 square foot home before, and now it's back on the market for 2.75 million. We are here again. Nice, remember this place? Yeah, yep. We looked at this place like a year ago, and we just, before we go to the waterfront properties, let's just really, Think about this one more time, because you guys really like this house, right? Yes. Whoa. This is where dad does all the cooking. Yep. <laughs> this looks good. 
Do you like it? I like the color, but I have a feeling I remember you're just the dark. It, it is dark, but I think if we even change the backsplash, that would really brighten things up. Because I love the layout, it's absolutely beautiful. I love the island. And I love that you can be preparing fun food and looking out at the pool. That's, that's yeah. perfect. I love the nano doors we can just open that right up and party on that pool deck. Oh, this is so beautiful. What do you think, boys? This is gonna be That's great awesome. to have my friends <sighs> over. Yeah, we'll keep all the partying here so mommy can keep an eye on all of you, right? Yeah. <laughs> you like the pool? Yeah, it's awesome. Beautiful. This pool deck is amazing. I love how big it is. I just wanna dive in right now. <laughs> yeah. Go. <laughs> What do you think of that? Mm, this is really pretty. Beautiful, almost 360 view. You know. Hmm, I like the built-ins, but I'm almost thinking it's never gonna fit our clothes, is no. it? We have, that would you, work for you me. Have more, you, I know, you have more clothes than I do. I think we'd need a door, because I know, how shall we say? Are you calling me messy? <laughs> well, I don't know that I'd want to see. Yeah. This is nice, right? Beautiful, his and hers. And I like the tub. It's beautiful. I love how it's on this angle in between the pretty lights. It gets really nice light. Nice shower. That is a big shower. Okay, it's great. Whoa, this is a spacious room. This is my room. No, it's mine. No, this is my room. Mom! Oh, now this is Whoa. my room. No, this is mine. Hmm. Let's share it. Here this you guys are. Um, did you just say share? You yeah, guys... we can share it. I don't know if that's gonna work. How would this work in here? You guys are gonna fight, This could you? be my half. A bed, bed. This is my half. And you guys could have like a great big study table right here. Well, they've yeah. got two desks here. Would it work? Yes, we can make it work. Whoa, a huge gym. All right. This, this is, I like. Oh, yeah, it's big enough for all of us. That's nice. Whoa. Whoa. This is an awesome man cave. Yes. I'd never see you guys if we had this. That is true. <laughs> Leather seats. Hey, boys. Oh, so comfy. Yeah. What do you think, Curse? It's awesome. Good view? Yeah. Family movie night. Hey. To the max. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of pluses, right? We got the gym, gorgeous yard, the pool. Views are incredible. The bedrooms could be a challenge though, right? I think. Yeah. The man cave was one of my favorite parts. Yeah, highlight for sure. Mm -hmm. Karen, what do you think? I really like the outside and of course the man cave. When we looked at this a year ago, we weren't sure what we wanted to do, but we really need to revisit this because all three of you really love this place. And every time we come by here, you say, we should have bought that house. We should have bought that house. So it's, you know, something that's at the back of our minds all the time, right? Mm -hmm. The next house on our family tour is smaller than the first, measuring in at 3,000 square feet. But it's low bank waterfront and includes its own dock. It's listed for 3.5 million. I've been waiting to see this house and we're finally here. Wow, look at the open windows. Oh, that's the first thing that strikes you, right? Yeah. The view. Boys, we drive by this every day in the summer on the boat. This is our favorite part of the lake. Yeah. You like the colors, right? I do. Yeah. It's super warm and Petrina. This is, this is me. Both grandmas would love this. Good pierogi making <laughs> space. <laughs> it is, oh, I love it. Oh, this is nice. Whoa. I like the patio doors. 
I like how it's so open. And the bathroom? Wow. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Closet room. This is just enough room. So whose room is this? Mine. This is a nice room. Yeah, just enough room, right? You don't need any more. And it could also be transformed into kind of a boy's room. Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> for sure. We'll make it manly. <laughs> oh. This is one of the most beautiful rooms I've ever seen. The whole upstairs floor is kind of master bedroom. That's awesome. I like it. Look at that view. It kind of just feels like you're floating over the water. Mommy's got to check out the closet. Too. Yeah. The See, closet. there's room for mom's stuff. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, we'd have to figure it out there, under the bed. There. <laughs> there, there. Oh, this, oh my goodness. So beautiful. Oh, look at all the space. Look at the Built color. in makeup thing for you. This is so beautiful. I love it. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is a nice TV area. Hey, lots of smiles for this room. Oh yeah. yeah. You can see the projector, so there's gonna be a screen yeah. that drops down. Drop the down screen. Drops. I like the Caesar's Palace. Hey, reminds you of Vegas. Yeah, especially with the lights on the sides. I like the fact that it's not downstairs because you see that so much. I, I don't even know where you guys are half the time. You're downstairs. And this you can be in here and then look out at the kitchen and looking at the open. Yeah, we'd use this room a lot. Oh yeah, for sure. It's looking good so far. Let's check the outside, guys. Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. There's two tables, perfect. Hot tub? Hot I like tub. how it's built into the deck. I like it too, honey. And look at the view, sitting in the hot wow. tub. Oh, that's awesome. That's an awesome view. And then in summer, all our time is spent down here. Hey, boys? Yeah. Let's go check it out. I could grow some plants in here. Yep. <laughs> yep, garden. <laughs> Please do all the gardening, Carson. Please. So look at this, guys. Room for the boat. Boat? Room for the jet ski. Couple of kayaks. Bad news is, I think to fill all these lifts, we gotta get a few more jet skis. <laughs> I like the low maintenance. The dock is incredible. Yeah. yeah. Basically, this place, nothing needs to be done. No. It's ready to go. We like the colors. Yeah. We don't have to give mom a paintbrush or a can of paint. <laughs> the only thing is, in, we didn't have a lot of closet room, but you know what? I've been wanting to simplify anyways. Right? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> what does that mean? You'll throw well, a pair I, yeah, I think I should just give all my clothes away and just buy like 10 simple outfits. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you buying what she's selling? I don't know. <laughs> well, I hear people doing that. And no, I think it's it, true. But the bottom line is, this is what we've always wanted. Right. And I love it. I love it. Right. I think this one gets nudged to my top list for I now. Just, we have one more to go, but... And I think that we don't need a ton of space. Right. Welcome back to Lake Country, where realtor Petrina Colton and her family are searching for their dream home on the water. Last up is a brand new build. In fact, it's so new it's still under construction. Once it's complete, the home will offer three and a half thousand square feet of living space and be priced around three million dollars. Wow, look at this, you guys. That's what you call a great room, right? Yes, it's very great. <laughs> the greatness. Very high ceilings. So we're gonna have some advantages here because we can do all of our own decor because it's at that stage where we can pick everything. Right. Right? Yes. Use your imaginations on this yeah. one. Well, I can see a big fireplace there and a nice TV above. Yeah. I can definitely see that. I can see this should be a kitchen when it's all finished with a sink right on the island. Yeah. Very good, sweetie. And over here could be a nice living space, like living room couch maybe. 
Another thing that I wanted to mention is because this is semi lakeshore, there's still a dock out there, but the taxes aren't as high. So less taxes just means for our dock, we walk across the street yeah. and down. Yeah. Okay. It's all right, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's head upstairs. All right. Sounds good. Lead the way, bud. Oh, it's nice and big. Nice I love view. this space. I'm pretty sure there would be a railing right here because nice. I would hope. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice loft. You still get the whole view thing yeah, going nice on, view. which is good. Yeah. So this will be one of the most unique master bedrooms that I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Because you know what the plans are? They're going to have sliding doors with a hot tub right there spilling into the pool. Ooh, that's going to be luxurious. Very luxurious. So it's our own private hot tub and pool that they're not allowed in? Correct. OK, <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah, we got the room. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. So this is the ensuite, and we need to see if the closet's any bigger in this house. I oh, think yeah. This is a large That's the biggest closet, closet we've seen it's so far. big closet. I think hey, we Kevin, could share this one. We could actually share this one. Ooh, okay. This is a nice room. Got a nice little window there. Yeah. This could be my room. Nice closet. Whoa. Okay, this one's bigger. This is mine. No, this is mine. No. Let's rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Ha, <sighs> mine. All right, awesome. Yeah, I can see your bed going there, your dresser, and of and course your desk. Washroom right there. Awesome. Perfect. This basement this is giant. This is big. This is where all the house is down here. I like it because you know, it the ceilings are ceilings. lifted, there's lots of space. I know. You know what, let's check out the garage because that's going to be pretty important. Oh, I think yeah. it's True. right around here. Very important. Whoa. Okay, oh, wow. jump in there. Wow. This big. is a really big garage. You don't often hear wow out of mum for a garage, right? I know. I, I think these are higher than normal ceilings. That. Well, yeah, all the wakeboard and stuff we could suspend. Mm-hmm. Nice maintenance free dock. Yeah. Yep. Boat lift. I guess what we need to get is a jet ski lift on the other side. And the house is just right there, so that's not too far to walk to get down here. Right. Oh. I liked the house. It was really big and like the roof was really high up. Yeah, I like how the it's kinda neat how the downstairs is the biggest part of the house. Cause it was like it was very spacious downstairs, and I really liked that. A lot of room for man cave business yeah. going on down there. Yeah. <laughs> I think the master bedroom idea is phenomenal. Yeah. I've actually never seen a hot tub and pool off of a master bedroom like that, oh, that ever. I think for yeah. me, the garage was a good size. Yeah. And this dock yeah. is brand new, in good shape. Yeah. It we is would brand need new. to add lifts and get it, you know, we'd have to add more. Yeah, and there's goose poop on it, but that's not a problem. <laughs> that's that's going to be your job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> goose poop patrol. New chores. While Petrina and her family debate which home to choose, expert Bob Anderson has some advice for anyone looking to buy. When buying a home, it's important to consider the overall cost of living in that home, not just the purchase price. For the average homeowner, heating and hot water can account for approximately 80% of the overall energy costs. Natural gas is about a third of the cost of electricity. Now that can really keep your energy bills low. So when you're house hunting, it's a good idea to look for natural gas furnaces, boilers, hot water heaters. If your home or the home that you're considering purchasing doesn't have natural gas, it's easy to find out if you can make the switch. Just visit the Fortis BC website where you can type in the address and find out if natural gas is available in that neighborhood. So thinking about energy costs when you're buying a new home can really save you a lot of money for years to come. Now that's energy at work. Okay boys, let's recap. We've got the first property was not by the water. Mm -hmm. It was a very large house. Yeah. 5,000 square feet, big property, 
Beautiful pool, beautiful view. What did you guys think about that one? I really like the yard and the landscape and the, especially the privacy. Privacy yeah. is a big thing. Yeah. I liked that it was in our neighborhood that we know and love. Yeah. It's close to town, lots of storage, uh, great pool, yeah. and lots of space. That was the big one. And that was the least expensive home, yeah, right? Yeah, because not lakefront, right. right? Okay, and the second one was smaller. It was 3,000 square feet, 3.5 million, waterfront, great right beside, coral beach, and I really loved it. I loved it too. I loved the, how the park was right beside it. Yeah. So we could just hop on over, go on the playground, play some tennis. The park just gives it basically an extended beach. Yeah, was it enough room for your toys? Jeff? It was, that one we could make work mm -hmm. um, and you're permitted to put extra outbuildings on there. So okay. in the future we could make it work. For sure. Now as compared to the last house, what were the stats on that again? So that one was about um, 3,500 square feet. It's gonna come in once it's finished uh, because of, there's a lot of structural, um, they've got to put in all those retaining walls for the pool. Right. Um, it's going to be pretty much close to three million. Um, and you have to cross the street to go to the dock. I don't know if that's a big deal for us or not, but... It wouldn't really be a big deal for me. No. <laughs> no, because you're young and healthy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I'm thinking the dogs love the beach, right? Now we're contending with a road they're crossing, running back and forth. It's not a... That property isn't continuous, right? It's So, the professional way that everyone makes these big decisions about the largest investment of their life is we're gonna count to three and you're gonna hold up your finger as to which house you want. And don't look at anybody else's finger, okay? Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Hey. It's unanimous. Okay, number two is the winner. Whee. Awesome, fivers all around. Ah! <laughs>